Okay, Mr. Carr, you have the floor. Just a couple minutes of your time here tonight. We do have a lot of work to put into this yet. Uh, the general fund, uh, what we have in the certificate for next year, uh, not counting the bills that we're going to carry forward at the end of the year, is 17, almost $17.6 million. And we budgeted up to that. The total uh, uh, of all funds in this budget is $36,013,000. One thing, uh, well, there's a couple things different we're doing with this year's budgeting process. In that we are in a combined benefit health insurance uh, plan with the health committee, and then we have an allocation of $915 per employee, plus we split 50-50, anything over that. Uh, we calculated, uh, estimated, and calculated in a 15% increase in health care premiums, which that 15% increase is split 50-50 with the employees. So each employee this year, instead of figuring out each department, whether they have single coverage or family coverage, we're treating each employee the same because we are uh, on a combined benefit basis, uh, allocating $915 to them plus 50% of anything over that. Uh, so the, the total comes out with a 15% increase in our premium this year, $12,300 per employee for the year. So you're going to see some changes, uh, some jumping around there in the uh, health insurance line item in different departments. Uh, some go up and some go down. For instance, the police department, we have a, a lot more people uh, on a percentage basis who have family coverage versus uh, single coverage. I think it's 86% of the people insured in the police department have family coverage, while citywide it's 81%. So in effect, their premium uh, should reflect a reduction uh, because we're using <coughs> 12,300 per employee. If, if we were using uh, the family deduction on an individual basis, then it would be higher. But the premium may appear to be higher because we have a 15% increase uh, schedule. That, uh, we won't know for sure what that increase will be. We know there's going to be an increase because our experience rate is, is high. It's, it's over what our premiums were on had been employed. Uh, another item here on page uh, 4 of 14 in the engineering department, there's a grant, uh, Muskegon Watershed District grant, that we will be receiving that was counted in the certificate of funds available that we have to also recognize as a, 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 an expense, an expenditure. So the money's going to come in and the money's going to go out just runs through the engineer's books here. So that's a, a wash there. It's not an increase. What is, what is it? What is it? It's a grant from the Muskingum Watershed District. It's for the, uh, the levy project down here. So we'll be <coughs> receiving that next year, but then we're going to be paying it out right away and it flows through this. Similar to what we had, I believe, in the uh, EPA uh, uh, grants that we had when uh, the old steel mill uh, site uh, had some uh, cleanup work there. The services and contracts in the engineering department we increased to cover, uh, help cover some cost of uh, advertising, which will take some burden off the council's uh, budget this year. Uh, back in the parks and rec there you'll see some changes, and I'm just giving you a, a few highlights here because, the, the, you know, you're going to be looking at this and you'll have uh, more questions if you don't know these things. <coughs> On page 10 of 14, the column that's next to uh, the, the next column to the last there, it says adjusted bu budget. You see that there? It's a, towards the top, to the right. Yeah. Okay, it says adjusted budget. Uh, recently, I think it was last council meeting, 
we had reduced the certificate for the uh, golf course by $50,000, and that was split among a couple of different line items. I changed those line items to reflect that. Uh, just an FYI, uh, we will be meeting next week, too, and, and taking another look at where we might end up with the, uh, the golf course, too. Uh, that doesn't concern next year's budget, only for uh, uh, benchmarking what we spend this year regarding the next year. If you have any questions on uh, the expenditures history, I can forward that to you in an email, uh, what we've spent in each line item over the last six years, which might give you, or, or at least three years, give you uh, an idea of where we have been expenditures-wise. It's, it's a, a lot of information. Uh, it's still not enough money but uh, it's what we have to work with. And, uh, hopefully, this time next year, uh, the auditor will come in with a smile on her face and say, we have more money to certify, and uh, we'll be able to pay more bills. Any questions for Mr. Keller? Please contact me uh, between now and next week for any information. Ken, can, can you make the 6.30 meeting next yeah. week? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, is that official enough notice for, the, for everything, Mary Beth, if I'm announcing it now? Yeah, I'll send out an email also. 6.30, one day, an hour prior to the council. Okay. One, yeah, one highlight for uh, next year, too, at the end of the uh, general fund there, you'll see that we have payments. Uh, I think it's 600 and some thousand scheduled there. That will also include the last payment on a Lincoln Phase II uh, project there, which will be uh, $317,000. Uh, so the, the next year, I would say that would be free up there. We'll have to look at the payment schedule for the next year to make sure that some other payments haven't been increased. Jane, that, that is correct on making phase two. That's next December, isn't it? Thank you very much. Thanks, Kevin.